Your body is your baby. Nurture it and feed it when it cries. Hi, I'm Rodine Zwareg. And today I'll be reading from my book, Inner Fitness, Five Steps to Overcoming Fear and Anxiety While Building Your Self-Worth. Available in all bookstores around the nation and beyond. Mindful hunger. Your body is your baby. Nurture it and feed it when it cries. If you're a parent, you undoubtedly know that a baby cries when it's hungry. You wouldn't ignore your baby's cry for food and you shouldn't ignore yours. This plan asks you to eat five times a day or approximately every three hours because the surest way to overeat is to wait until you're absolutely famished. If you wait until you're starving, you'll be gulfing your food down and could easily eat up to 5,000 calories before your brain has a chance to let your stomach know it's full. Use your mind to help your body by being aware of how hungry you are and eat when you are two or three on the scale below. The scale in the book shows that if it's one hour between meals, you're not hungry. Two hours, you are moderately hungry. Three hours, you're hungry. Four hours, you're very hungry. Five hours, you have reached the starvation zone. Don't eat when you're not hungry and don't wait until you're very hungry or starving. This is all based on personal experience and the experience of many I worked and still work with. That when we wait more than four hours and we reach a starvation mode, we're not necessarily, you know, feeling hungry. I love this chart. It really helps and it's an indicator of where you are with your hunger. Most of us are entangled in our everyday life and we get busy and we forget to eat. We forget to eat and we forget to drink water. So how do we know when to feed ourselves. As I said in the book, if you're a good parent, you won't let your child or baby cry. You would feed them and nurture them. Your body is your baby. So treat it as such. When it cries, feed it. When it cries, feed it. But we are very savvy at shutting down those cries and use substitutes like caffeine and such to stop the hunger. But that's erroneous. It is not the right way to do things. Eating one time or two times a day is not going to cut it. It's not going to help you in the long run. Eating small, healthy meals throughout the day is what you need to be doing. In other videos, I was talking about your blood sugar, how to balance your blood sugar, your energy level. This is done by eating small, healthy, balanced meals throughout the day. So don't shut those cries and listen to your body. Feed it, nurture it. I hope that this video is very helpful. Please like and subscribe, and also visit my website at nordinezwareg.com, nordinezwareg.com. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy. Stay safe.